Hey, we're going to look at the Shadowlands Afterlife Bastion video. It seems to be primarily focused on Uther and some of the uh, tribulations he went through after his death. As you can see, we have Arthas uh, killing him. And we have him obviously Uther. being judged and sent to the Bastion. Where, where am I? Welcome to Bastion. You led a truly selfless life, and for that, you have been chosen. Chosen? To shed your mortal burdens and join the ranks of the Ascended. Serving to ferry the souls of the dead unto the Shadowlands. I serve the light, and my work is not done. There is an evil that must be... There is no evil here. The darkness was sealed within the Maw long ago. You're wrong. He destroyed my home. Murdered my people and my king. He must be punished. You are an aspirant now. You must accept your new purpose and purge yourself of this desire for vengeance. What I desire is justice. I think he's lying to himself. I think he actually desires vengeance. Devos, why are you training this soul? It is beneath your station as a paragon. He cannot let go. He continues to demand retribution for his death. And this concerns you? Many souls take eons to ascend. Yes, but this one seems broken, Venios. So the way Unlike she's talking to him, seen, it seems like she doesn't train many souls, or any at all. By mistake. It kind of makes me feel like she has I doubts about what's I happening in the Shadowlands. In time, and she wants to train someone who is... Trust going through a very turbulent time in their afterlife and see if what she's feeling is correct. Devos, how long must we train? Until you are ready to ascend. And what is keeping me from ascension? Nothing but the memory of your mortal life. How can I forget? When I can still feel his blade. Your soul is wounded? Who did this to you? He was my student. He betrayed us all. Show me. And this is what I was talking about. I think his soul was split. You see two parts going in different directions. It's obviously the wound isn't healing because his full isn't totally intact. The runes on his blade were unmistakable. This dark agent runs free on a mortal world with the power of the Maw itself in hand. Our realm is imperiled. Impossible. Now, when she goes to her superiors about you must return to the past. The Shadowlands not working correctly. Life, we never would have known of this calamity. She is not the taken. Is I, I think she doesn't think she's taken seriously the enough about it. And this is why she is uh, trying to make her case so hard. You, will abandon this you can see the look on her face. I mean, that's a look of, you know, hey, wait a minute. Come on. You're telling me one thing, but I'm seeing another. Even when she facing the girl, she looks in defeat, but here she looks in determination. Uther, the time of your ascension has come. I thought I was not ready. Do you wish to see him? And you can see she's just going to ascend him no matter what. 
Then prepare yourself. I wouldn't be surprised if game if she starts her own faction or there is a break in the bastion at some point in time. And who are her and who the there are he falls. The leaders of a they rebellion or him. you know, a second faction, whatever you'd like to call it. I'm not understanding. If he's only seeing darkness, he's not seeing her at all, I'm assuming. If he's not seeing her, then he's not seeing Earth no. Uther. So I assume that's why Uther's holding him. He's not begging, pleading, or even saying his name. And you can see she's trying to push him to throw him in here. My student. Remember what? He almost had second thoughts about doing this, it seems, at that point in time, but she's just pushing. And again, justice. he tries to justify it as justice, and I don't think he really believes that. It almost looked like he got a little grin on his face right there, too. I don't know if you noticed that. Let's go back here. Well, yep, he did. You see that? That wasn't justice. That was actual vengeance. I gotta say, it's done really well. It just leaves me with a lot of questions. And until I actually play Shadowlands through, I do have the beta. I just don't like playing a ton on the beta. I, I mess around with it a little bit here and there. But I don't want to know a lot of the storyline until I get fully into it. You know, it, it, I think it would just take away from the fun when everyone else is having the fun. Anyways, if you watch this, thanks. I appreciate it. You have a great day. And uh, I'm going to send a hi out to my best friend. You all take care.